so now it's out now it's there now we know that there was a problem last year we found out I had a problem and we found out what that problem was it was anxiety and it was depression and when I found that out I didn't know what to do with it I didn't know how to deal with it I didn't know what to think of it I didn't know what that meant for me and what does that mean for anybody who's told when they're 31 I was 31 at the time when they're 31 that you're depressed and you have high levels of anxiety what does that mean I've lived my entire life being normal I've lived my entire life just being okay being a normal member of society having no problems getting through being all right making it through my day but was I I never really was I was acting a lot I was hiding a lot I was smiling a lot I was putting on a face a lot I was being a clone of myself finally having somebody tell me this is what's wrong this is why you feel like you can't function right this is why you have days where you feel like you can't get out of bed this is why you have nights where you feel like you have to pace around the house or you have to redo an entire room because you have so much energy just built up within you that you don't know what to do finally having somebody tell you this is what's wrong was a relief it was a relief off of my chest that oh my gosh now I know now I know what's going on now I know what I need now I know what I can fix almost but you can't fix it it's something in your brain it's something that's wrong it's just it's something that's within you and it's in me and it happens and it's okay that it happens it's a disease and it takes over you and you have those days you have those days where you're down you have those days where you have so much energy that you can clean the whole house you can reorganize the whole house you can walk your dogs 36 times and drive them crazy you have those days and that's okay the thing you need to understand is how to deal with them how to overcome them how to find the best way for you to make peace with them that's what I had to do I had to make peace with the fact that I battled depression that I battled anxiety and that I will always battle depression and I will always battle anxiety I will have a day where I will be happy I will be great and I will be fine and then maybe the next day I will be down I will be sad I won't want to get out of bed and it's okay it's okay I don't need to beat myself up because it's fine because for too long I beat myself up I tore myself apart I beat myself down and I told myself it wasn't okay it wasn't okay because I wasn't being productive but now I know it's okay I need a break my brain needs a break my body needs a break I need a break if you battle depression or anxiety there are two completely different beasts you may battle one you may battle the other you may battle both you may battle something completely different 
but it's a battle. No matter what anybody tells you. It's, mental illness is a battle. And you need to do what's best for you to get through that battle. And it's hard to realize because you're always told, no, it's all in your head. It is all in your head. But just because it's all in your head doesn't mean it's not the same as a disease in your heart, a disease in your lungs, because it's a disease in your mind and it plagues you. Don't take it lightly that depression or anxiety isn't a battle. Don't let anybody belittle you to think that it isn't a battle, because it is. But you can get through it. You can always get help. There's always somebody that will understand. There's always somebody you can talk to. I found people I could talk to. I thought for so long that everything was in my head and that I was crazy and I should just get over it and that I was just being lazy or ridiculous and I should just get up and do something about it. And then I had to realize that that's not really it. I just needed to cope. I needed a break. I needed skills. I needed things that could free my mind. I needed something to bring me out of the state I was in. It's not always easy, but there are things that help. And there are things that people can find. For me, it's a routine. If I get out of my routine and I get in a weird funk, then I can fall deep, deep, deep down. I fell deep, deep down three weeks ago, four weeks ago. I don't know how long ago, but I fell deep down. And I haven't been that down for a long time, but I was there. And what helped me was getting back into my routine, calling my mom, talking to her, having her voice and her presence with me to let me know it's okay. It's okay for you to have a down day. It's okay for you to be lazy. It's okay for you to lay in bed. It's okay if you wanna watch TV, Criminal Minds for me for 12 hours. It's fine. It's fine if that's what you need because maybe your brain needs that break. Maybe your brain needs that break from whatever is digging into your skull at that point in time. Depression and or anxiety. It's nothing to laugh at, but it's also nothing to be ashamed of. I was ashamed. I first got diagnosed. I didn't want anybody to know. I told my mom and my sister and my dad. I didn't even tell my dad. My mom did. And I was like, I don't want anybody to know. My childhood best friend knew because I called her a lot for a lot of support. And she's been my best friend for over 25 years. I called her for a lot of support, but I didn't want people to know because I was ashamed, I was sad. I thought that I was the scum of the earth because I let that defeat me. But now I know it doesn't defeat me, it doesn't define me. I define me, I choose me. I choose how I'll live my life. I choose what I'll do with it and I choose how I will handle it, and I choose how I will get out of it. My name is not depression. My name is Cassie.